Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm here to share the investors' perspective on the state of Minnesota's startup uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem. And I want to start with a stat. Did you know that the Twin Cities captured 1% of companies that obtained the first round of venture funding in 2016 and 2017? You rank just outside of the top 20 uh, cities. Um, however, our growth rate from the prior seven years is 18 percent, and the country's average was 69 percent. So, according to this, we actually are not keeping up. The country is growing uh, in terms of startup. Uh, um, a little bit about me. Uh, previously, I co-founded a tech startup in St. Cloud with my twin brother Rob. Uh, we usually we don't like to share a stage, so I don't know if he's here. Uh, <laughs> But I served as the company's chief product officer. We bootstrapped the company to 170 employees at peak and exited fully in 2017. While running the company, uh, we also began angel investing out of a family office and completed 25 angel investments before finally taking our side project and making it our full-time endeavor. After exiting the company, we started a new regional venture fund, which we think is, has raised, or we announced our fund closing early this year. It was one of the largest debut funds in the upper Midwest history uh, for seed tech uh, investing. So we're very excited about the support. <laughs> so, uh, we've already closed 16 investments. So we've been busy in the two years while uh, forming the new fund. Mm -hmm. Nine of those companies, I'm happy to report, are Minnesota-based companies. So that's 56% of our additional investment. Uh, so why are startups important? You know, if you look at the longevity of companies in the Fortune 500 from 2000 to 2017, 52% of the companies are no longer listed or listed at the turn of the century. And that trend is accelerating. And this is, according to H. Barrett, they attribute this primarily to digital disruption. Uh, adapt so adaptability is really key in this environment. Uh, Intel's uh, co-founder, famous co-founder, Andy Grove said, only the paranoid will survive. Tech is no longer a sector. It's disruption is happening in every sector. Uh, so that adaptability is very important. So what, are, what is a startup? A startup is a temporary organization searching for a repeatable, scalable business model. Uh, it's not the same as a small business. It's really focused on scalability. Uh, and it can happen in a new organization. It can also happen in a large corporation. So three aspects of a strong startup ecosystem are culture, talent, and capital. So I want to share briefly some remarks on uh, strengths and opportunities around each. First on culture, uh, you've all heard of Minnesota Nice. Uh, you know, we're very friendly to our neighbors in Minnesota, and you can see in the tech community and in the startup community that we have uh, a number of uh, innovative collectives or new spaces like this, startup accelerators, uh, that's very evident of the Minnesota Nice. Uh, it's a great meeting ground for startups. Also, the number of events, there's a whole myriad of events. Just look at next week, Twin Cities, we kind of like Casey's been leading. Just amazing. Um, it shows the culture of that Minnesota Nice kind of manifesting itself. I think one thing is the culture, uh, especially since starting the fund, I met a lot of business leaders uh, in greater Minnesota and the Twin Cities. Uh, C-level executives, I think, in Minnesota don't have that paranoia like they have in Silicon Valley right now. Um, I think that they don't view it as their problem or their priority, and uh, they think because, you know, it's not in our three-year plan or uh, for different reasons, and I think that that needs to become a priority. They, we need to get paranoid. Like, this stuff is going to continue to accelerate, and that's what's really going to take to succeed. Uh, and I think part of that can be, you know, through the startup community engaging it, we're starting to see that more with bigger companies, but especially in bigger Minnesota, I think it's a real challenge. Um, the other thing is humbleness. You know, we're not doing a good job of bragging about our successes as a state. I think if you ask the average person outside of Minnesota, where are some of the top exits in Minnesota tech, they, they can't tell you. And we've had plenty, and so we need to do a better job of sharing the story. Uh, wrong talent. Uh, one of our strengths is there's a great baseline of talent. Um, at my last meeting, two of our Silicon Valley board members said that our team executed as, as well as the strongest teams they managed. These guys were part of some very large companies. One of the challenges our management team saw was for certain positions, product managers and uh, technical positions with deep expertise, 
they had a hard time hiring sometimes. So a, a data, our chief data scientist was searching advertising experience and could not find it in Minnesota. So we had to open an office in the Bay Area. Uh, so the opportunity with education as well as building talent networks to go outside of Minnesota to find those specialized positions so that we can leverage our baseline talent to really succeed. Uh, capital, so one strength is our cost of living uh, is quite low. In fact, a study by Forbes uh, was reported that the cost of maintaining 10% equity in a company over the early rounds of funding is 2.2 times greater in San Francisco than it is in the Great Lakes region. So it's, we're much more capital efficient. Uh, one of the opportunities is we have a lot of venture partners based in Minnesota, but we have the lowest loyalty rate in terms of where the deals are based, the companies are based that the venture partners are investing in. Only 29% of our deals are companies based in Minnesota. And lastly, uh, there's a, we're really underperforming in Greater Minnesota. If you look at the next tier cities, the number of companies receiving initial venture funding. Uh, Rochester is, is one overachiever. It's over twice the per capita efficiency for getting starts to venture funding, and it's almost all healthcare. But uh, St. Cloud and uh, Duluth are about one third to one half the efficiency per capita. Uh, and, uh, I can speak a lot about St. Cloud, but I won't for my time. And then Mankato didn't have the startup funded according to the data I saw in Vision for the last series. That is a big problem. We need to do better. So thank you, everybody. Thrive with the program, uh, and it really takes the leaders uh, investing in 